All right, guys, welcome back. Today is the Colts prediction for week three, and you're thinking, Luke, it's Wednesday. Why are you predicting the game this early? And it's because I already know the result, I think. Score prediction is going to be a little hard to give you because I don't know all the details, but I'm going to give you the one key to each team and why the Bears are going to hold up better than the Colts. The Bears' O-line is an issue. Not a good issue, like a bad one for them. And if D-line gets any pressure, they're screwed. Buckner's not going to be fully healthy. Latu's not going to be fully healthy if they play at all. No Juju Brent still. Dallas Flowers did all right, right? Nick Cross has the most tackles in the league. He's a safety. There are some bad, bad things in that defense. And for a rookie who's looking to finally get a good start, here it is, Caleb Williams. Here's the Colts' defense. So it leads to, are the Colts going to be able to face it right back, right? Are they going to be able to face off with it with Jonathan Taylor? Are they going to use Jonathan Taylor? No, because they haven't used them yet. The Colts are a dumpster fire of a team right now. As much as I love them, as much as I say they're going to make it to the playoffs and whatever, they are not playing at all like I thought they would, right? Week one's offense is what I thought it was going to be. Nice little mix of run pass. Week two in the third quarter, wow, Colts found out, wait, if we run the ball twice and then pass, defense stays on their toes and we keep that tempo, we're good. So why did Shane stop doing it? For all the people who are wondering why JT didn't play in the fourth quarter, that was a good idea. Keep him healthy. Maybe Shane does come out and do the run-run pass. If that happens, the Colts will win. And they could even dominate. But the defensive side of the ball for the Colts is so bad right now that the Colts aren't going to have any wins that won't be high scoring. So I'm going to say right now, Bears 38, Colts 35, game-winning field goal for, uh, is it Santos over there? Look, I'm not thinking that there will be really much defense played, but the Bears will probably play a little bit better defense. They actually have guys that keep the positions who make big plays. There's been no really big plays other than Zaire's fumble at the goal line. Other than that, Zaire really hasn't been able to tackle. And again, these are players and guys that I watch and I, and I really enjoy, right? But I have to give you guys what I see. And that's why the thumbnails are so shocking prediction. Because you guys aren't expecting me to say the Colts are going to lose, period. Especially to a team like the Bears. But it's going to be 50-50. At the home game. I want you guys to know that it's $250 a pop right now for up high seat at Lucas Oil Stadium. There's going to be a ton of Bears fans there. So the Lod House isn't even going to be fully able to be Lod because there's not going to be that many Colts fans. We can't afford that shit. We're in the Midwest. What are we talking about here? This is Indy. This is the same time when we sent three people to Las Vegas to see the in season tournament championship because none of us can afford it here. So look, it's not even a home game. JT is the answer. Is it going to be used? I have so many question marks that I can't predict the Colts winning. And yes, this is a very animated Luke today. And you're probably wondering, why is he so angry? It's because I hate that I have to sit here and tell you I'm not hopeful for Sunday. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be rooting hard. And I want you guys to know that for anybody who's doubting AR or doubting the defense, or doubting the team like I am right now. Don't stop believing that the team can win, though. Because if Shane wakes up tomorrow, or let's say he woke up earlier today and realized JT's the answer, and once we get him running, AR can run, and AR can pass. By the way, AR not running in the first half. What the hell was that, right? But there's so many keys on offense that we're missing. That if he fixes up some of them, oh man, it's going to be a long day for the Bears. But, if the Colts don't fix them, it's going to be a long day in Indianapolis. It's not looking good, Colts fans. But you got to remember, like Seth Erskine said, this is our Colts, this is our team, we bleed blue. Na, 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 na. I forgot that we love them. That's what I meant. And he does this, we love them. We love them. It's, it's going to be a long week. Hopefully, we give some bad news to the Bears, but right now, I'm giving some bad news to you Colts fans. Sorry about it, guys. That's my prediction, and until next time, F-Rock time, out!